All right, so I just wanted to hop on here and I really just wanted to touch base on how I was able to get my first very high paying client for a pretty large scale business and how I got started and how I found the client and then how I kind of closed the deal. So I just wanted to show proof right here that this is one of my, let's see. So you can see 25,000, it's gonna say succeeded. And that's reoccurring, so it's not just a one-time thing. I do have some stores that is a one-time thing and it's $25,000 up front for 12 months, so it's like 1200 bucks, kind of spaced out throughout the next 12 months. So, so it was actually kind of funny on how I found this client. So most people wouldn't even expect uh, just like business owners and big CEOs to be on Facebook just kind of scrolling through and commenting on people's posts. So since I'm into the marketing space, I have a lot of ads that are for marketing. So I might have actually one that's been popping up a lot for dot media marketing that that company has been popping up a lot and you're probably gonna get this ad right before this video too. So I have a lot of companies that are on my Facebook page because I am big into marketing. And so I see back to the companies. And so this particular client, he, I don't want to say too much. So I'm going to say luxury store. Um, I'm not going to go into big detail on exactly what it is just because it's of the privacy for my own client. So he had commented on one of the posts and I'm going to show an example right here, kind of how, how it works out. I might comment something or they comment something. And then actually a whole thread starts of people. They're like, hey, I'm interested in too. Hey, I'm interested in too. And I was watching uh, an Iman Gadzi video one time and he was saying, when it rains, it pours. And really it does because I had uh, commented on somebody's post today regarding like what I do for a living. And then probably 45 people out of the thousands of uh, people that reached actually messaged me and said, that, hey, I'm interested. Hey, I'm interested. I'm gonna show examples here, 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 here. They're, they just go on and it's all real people. It's all either business owners or actual people that are currently um, interested in getting started with not just like SMMA, but getting started with the services that I offer. And so back to how I found the client, um, I had this ad and I popped up and I see this client and I say, hey, do you think you guys could help me out on marketing for my company, blah, 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 dot com. And so me in the space that I was already in, I already had experience in marketing. I already had the agency. At the time my agency was S-Line Media Agency. It was like a little, it was based off of like the car that I had. But the funny thing is my car wasn't even an S-Line model. It was like the one above it. And so the name was kind of just like a cool name at that point. And so I noticed that he didn't get any replies I assume that he got a DM from the company because most people go on there and DM them from there, but he didn't get any DMs. And so I messaged him, I was like, hey man, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly like like this chat right here on how it works. I don't really like, I don't like chatting for hours and hours at a time. I'm like, hey man, are you cool to hop on like a 15 minute call to go over how I can grow your company or how I can grow, um, or how I can grow mushroommedia.com or, you know, just along those lines. So. I scheduled a call through my calendar link. I just sent it over to him. And he said, hey man, do you have any results you can send? Just like, you know, cause like he wanted to validate my proof. And I had plenty of results because I started in 2017. This is only two years ago. And so I had three years of results already stacked up from whenever I was doing my own marketing and my own agency for myself. And so I sent everything over. He's like, awesome man, sounds great. Happy to hop on a call with you. So we scheduled for that same day and I was doing most of my marketing based on like month to month. I wasn't doing any percentages. I wasn't doing anything else. And for this client, I really wanted to go market towards a higher ticket niche or higher ticket as in like, I wanted to charge a lot of money for this because I know what I'm worth and I know the value that I can provide to this company. So we hop on the call, everything went absolutely incredible. And then it got down to the point. I was like, Hey man, I'll be honest. I'm not cheap and I'm not cheap for a reason. I don't, I don't take percentages. I don't take a monthly rate. I take a fixed rate, 12 months, and everything's upfront. At first, it, it kind of shocked him, uh, but since I had already built that relationship with him, talking on the phone immediately instead of just messaging back and forth with no tones, he was already comfortable with me, and I actually have references and vouchers for me and like my results. So um, I had them message him as well, and they, they could talk to him throughout the day, and so. He was like, yeah, man, let's do it. And that day that I booked my first client, it was 25,000. We were gonna do a 
So we were actually gonna split it up. We were gonna do 25,000 upfront and I only worked for 12 months. And then we did that for two months where I was making 25,000 upfront. I, I didn't make anything the, the, the second month. So technically it was like 12,500 if you really cut it up. And then I really started to grow his company. And he was like, hey man, sales are going way up. I wanna match what I gave you, but let's do it consistently. And so he said that he wants to pay me $25,000 every single month consistently because he's spending like 200 300 thousand dollars a month and that's money that i'm managing google ads and facebook ads as well and not even that but i was helping him grow his facebook page and his facebook group so he was get, he, he was getting organic leads and he was getting organic sales all through facebook groups instagram and i was showing him different ways that i can like help him help him market his his products and his services and i was just showing him different ways that i could help market help him market his products so he was super excited. His sales exponentially increased. And that was my first big paying client. All the clients underneath that, I've had 15,000, I've had 10,000. This is recurring as well. This is like back and forth. I know that my first ever, like very, very first client that I ever got, it was like 200 bucks. I was building some money Shopify store for them. And this goes back probably 2019, 2018-ish. And I was younger at the time. Um, but I was kind of going based off like what I knew and what I thought would be good to price. But it wasn't until I started actually fixing my pricing structure and kind of going more towards those higher ticket niches, whether it's for watches, whether, whether it's for luxury goods, cars, houses, realtors, um, real estate agents, real estate investors, lawyers, law firms, dentists, chiropractors. I mean, the list goes on of the amount of people that I've worked with and that I kind of value myself towards now that I'm working towards. And so about 20, 21 months in total. So he's been paying me a little bit more than five hundred thousand dollars I'm pretty sure. And that's over the course of the 20 months that I've been working with him. And so as soon as I got that client the next day, literally the next day, somebody from that one thread messaged me, Hey man, I'm interested in your services. And basically all I did was I kind of replicated exactly what I said to the other client the day before, which is pay me $25,000 per month to work on his, his company. And that's managing his ads, optimizing his website, building new websites, you know, sending out new email campaigns and SMS campaigns as well. So it's not like I'm just running his ads. I do a lot for him. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm like a full manager for him basically. I had another client in a similar niche and he was just starting his company. It was almost like a FinTech company. And I categorize them as like FinTech companies. They're small companies that have a lot of capital and they can grow really, really quickly or they can just crash and burn. And so he was like, hey man, um, and I actually had vouchers on the thread as well. And people were saying like, hey, I vouch for Caleb, like he's awesome. He's been doing me really, really well. Or he's been like making me a lot of money or this suit's mad, mad intelligent or you know, stuff along those lines. And so the client messaged me and I basically just copy and pasted everything that I had said that I had actually messaged, including all the results from the previous day before on the guy. And we hopped on the phone call that day. I closed that $7,500 um, phone call and that's for recurring minimum six months. And I still have that client today. And I think that right now, my first clients, my first main clients that were from like two years ago, I still have those today because those are the people that I've like kind of grown with and worked with for a long time. So I built up a lot of trust with them. And then those clients also refer me to like their friends and like their friends' companies and then their friends are their friends. And so I don't have any paid ads. I've actually tried a couple of times and it, it does work pretty well, but it only works for a few days and then your ad account will get suspended or your ad will get taken down, which so be it. I'm not too worried about it. And so, all of, my, all of my clients right now, they all come organically. And like Iman was saying, like when it rains, it pours, and it really rains and it really pours. Once you, got, once you have that one client, then you're gonna have five more. Then you might go on a dry spell, which, and I say dry spell because you're gonna sign, let's say you sign five clients. Those clients will take about a week to get all set up and within that week, you can't actively go out and find more clients. So then you kind of go on a dry spell. And then after that week comes up, you kind of have to go out and find more clients. And it just takes a little more time like that. So it's like week on, week off, week on, week off. 
but until you build up a big enough base to where you just have consistent clients, like right now, I don't know, know I don't really know the number off the top of my head. I think it's around 17 to 20 that I've been recurring clients, like recurring, not just like a three month deal or like a four month deal for the past two years. And they've been paying me anywhere from 25,000. I've had a client that paid me 55,000 one time. And it was just like a one time deal for a 12 month management. And so the, I think the lowest right now that I'm charging is $3,500, but that's because I'm doing a 5% revenue share. And that's something that I'm you know rolling out into the future because uh, these people like paying me a lot up front and I prefer that. But I know that depending on what store it is, I might be better off. I might be better off charging them a five percent revenue fee and taking a little cut on the pay, and so that way I do have that recurring charge going. Maybe it's a five thousand dollar recurring charge and five percent on fifty thousand or five percent on a hundred thousand, and maybe I want to get paid per month, biweekly or weekly, or just at the end of the quarter. I just want to say, hey, this is my bonus for the quarter and I just charge them for the bonus. And that's like my, my cut. So, sorry if that was kind of like all over the place. I'm just kind of explaining exactly how I got my first big client and how I still get my clients to this day, really just working off somebody else's ads. And you're not stealing their clients, they weren't theirs to begin with. It's just an ad that's kind of brought on Facebook and it's just potential, it's potential clients that you could either, that that you could either use or that they could use, but most people don't really uh, keep up with their ads and they're either too busy or they just leave their ads on for years at a time and don't really pay attention to it. So just book a call with me. I don't charge anything for a phone call. It's sort of just a phone call where we kind of go back and forth and um, maybe I give you some advice that you need or maybe you want to work with me and then we can work from there. Or maybe you just want to use me as a white label to see what I, which is also fun. So I'm going to leave my link in the description below to hop on a call. It's just going to be my, my marketing company, which is now H2 Digital Marketing. It's not S on Media. It was S on Media to something else. And now it's H2 Digital Marketing, Houston, Texas Digital Marketing, because I have, I have a lot of local clients too. And a sneak peek, I just want to show you guys for the next video, I'm going to go into detail on, let's see, on this right here. So. I own a pretty large um, downpipe intake and modification company online. Now, without giving too much away, you can learn more about that in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks. I'm out. See you guys next time.